वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलकम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज़ रेड बाय असमा हफीज फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस केटे के प्राइम मिनिस्टर हेज लेफ्ट फॉर कराची ऑन अ डे लॉन्ग विजिट प्रेजिडेंट हेज एक्सप्रेस कॉन्फिडेंस इन द रिवाइवल ऑफ कंट्रीज इकोनॉमी Two day ministerial meeting of UN peacekeeping missions has begun in Islamabad. On International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearances, Kashmiris have been subjected to the crime since 1989. And now the news in detail. Caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Haq Kakar has left for Karachi on a day long visit. He will be briefed on Pakistan Navy's Shamshir-e-Bahar war exercise. President Arif Alvi has expressed confidence in the revival of country's economy, citing the potential of its youth as a driving force. Addressing closing ceremony of an ICT-related competition in Islamabad today, he noted the exponential progress of the IT sector and its indispensability across all fields. He underlined necessity of equipping youth with latest skills including artificial intelligence to take the country forward. Arif Alvi expressed gratitude to Chinese company Huawei for imparting IT training to 800 bureaucrats. Two day ministerial meeting of UN peacekeeping missions titled Security and Safety of the UN Peacekeepers kicked off at Center for International Peace and Stability in Islamabad today. The meeting which began with national anthem paid rich tribute to those who were martyred while performing duties during the UN peacekeeping missions besides chief of army staff caretaker ministers for foreign affairs and defense under secretary general of the UN department of operational peace and support and diplomats belonging to different countries will attend the meeting The Council General of United Arab Emirates, Bakhit Atik Al Ramithi, called on caretaker Sindh Chief Minister Justice Retired Maqbool Bakar in Karachi today and discussed bilateral relations. The Sindh Chief Minister on the occasion said that there are ample investment opportunities in the province and invited UAE investors to take advantage of them. The visiting Council General informed the caretaker Sindh Chief Minister that a biggest ever visa center has been established in Karachi. to facilitate the people of Sindh and Balochistan the caretaker chief minister on the occasion thanked UAE for extending help to flood affected in Sindh in Balochistan four most wanted terrorists of a banned organization have been killed in an exchange of fire with security forces in Pashin district according to a spokesman of counter terrorism department encounter took place during an intelligence based operation in Surkhab refugee camp Security forces have seized a huge cache of arms and ammunition from the terrorists. According to Kashmir Media Service, on the International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearances, thousands of Kashmiris have been subjected to the global crime over the last 34 years in occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Being the most militarized zone in the world, at least 8,000 innocent civilians have vanished in custody of Indian forces since 18, 1989 in the occupied territory. Kashmiris have been witnessing killings, enforced disappearances, torture, rape, and other brutalities by the Indian forces since then, and this orgy of death and destruction has intensified after India revoked the special status of Jammu and Kashmir on 6th August 2019. In Gabon, a group of senior military officers have seized power in a coup declaring the elections held over the weekend as not credible. The officers announced on state television today and said that they had cancelled the elections, dissolved all state institutions and closed the country's borders. The announcement came after the election body declared President Ali Bongo Ondimba winner for a third term in the elections. An cricket The opening match of Asia Cup Cricket 
2023 will be played between Pakistan and Nepal at Multan today. The match will start at 2.30 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.